tone, which we observed a few hours ago as the relative few arrived to mark their ballots. First impressions at the Early Vote Center. And welcome to Early Vote. Are genuinely made by Gina Howard. If you'd be so kind to step over to number two. She directed front door traffic in the final few early voting hours of tomorrow's special primary here in Hamilton County. So you're going to wait till tomorrow? Yeah, okay. We have two seats over here. Not exactly high volume traffic. It's possible Tuesday's turnout statewide could break the record for Ohio's lowest ever for a primary. I think it is predictable that it'll be a low turnout. We're, we're trying to make that not the case. But, uh, you know, one or two votes could make a difference. Small turnout could play a big definitive role in contested primaries for state lawmakers. The relative few who bother to vote are also deciding who gets on the state central committee, which doesn't exactly stir much juice for the average voter. But it speaks to the direction of the political party you prefer. I was explaining it to my neighbor in the driveway this morning, right? And I said, it's this, it's the board of directors for your state party. Those who work elections want your experience to be meaningful and as easy as possible. If you just wait here a second, and we'll get, would you like a chair? Yes. Okay, we'll get that. Gina Howard retired after 30 years at the board. She's back as a volunteer for this special primary, telling me she loves it. After all the confusion, controversy, legal challenges, and court rulings about making the maps, the last impression today was like the first. Thank you for coming in, Thanks and have a wonderful here. rest of the day. Have a good day. You too. And because it takes about 100 days of preparation to run an election and four to five weeks afterwards to certify the results, this has been a nonstop year of work for county election staff. And right after this one's put to bed tomorrow night, they must get ready for early voting that starts October 12th for the fall midterm election. John London, WLWT News 5. All right, John, we've talked so much about the controversy of this election, especially with the, the border lines and the boundary lines of this, and it's going to impact the fall in some way and also 2024 in a way, too. It, it is, and, uh, you know, the, the fall is set with the, with the map, just like tomorrow's primary. It'll be based on an unconstitutional map. But after that, a new Supreme Court justice will be elected in November, and a lot of eyes will be on that to watch how it could impact more map-making attempts ahead of 2024. So, got a lot to look forward to. <laughs> so much to look years. forward to, John. I know, you know you'll be on top of it for us. We do appreciate it.